Hi, it's Danny here with another Tech Fix video, and in this video, I want to take a look at how you create a branching database using Purple Mash to question software. So, if you want to look at uh, branching databases, they're particularly useful if you are teaching the Teach Computing course, uh, especially the Year Three unit on uh, branching databases. So, if you look here, there are lessons on yes or no questions, making groups, creating a branching database. So you use either uh, just to easy software or you use Purple Mash software as a, a really easy way of making a branching database. So you'll need a Purple Mash description to access this. I've gone into the Purple Mash homepage. I'm going to click on tools. I'm going to click on to question and I'm going to launch. So I'll start my first question, click to edit and we'll start with I'll breathe underwater. Choice number one will be yes, choice number two will be no, and we'll click on OK. There we get our next choices. Can it be underwater? Under this one, this is going to be my fish, so I'll say it's a fish. It's a final answer, so there's no further questions from there, and I could have wanted to draw a little picture of a fish here and say OK. My next question, I'll click on the click to edit, and we'll say um, does it lay eggs? And we'll have yes and no. Again, say OK. Now my my no will be it's a mammal. And that's a final answer card. And again, I could use the pen and I could draw a picture of a mammal. I could pick out of a mammal just there. So I'll click on here and my question will be can, can it fly? And my choice number one will be yes. And my choice number two will be no. And then if it's yes, that's going to be it's a bird. It's a bird, final answer, okay, and then this one, final question, um, dry scaly skin, again, yes, no, and then my final choice for yes will be it's a reptile, and final answer here will be it's an amphibian. Okay, so okay, and if I wanted to I could click on here and I could choose a picture and we could search for fish there we go it'll add pictures to these I want to use so can it fly it's a bird let's search for a picture of a bird <laughs> put a penguin in it's no good um, yeah. maybe that question should be has it got wings might be better than can it fly so this is my branching Key. If I then want to play it, I can click on the triangle at the top to play. It will ask me my first question: Does it breathe underwater? Yes, it's a fish. Okay, and we play again. And round we go. Does it breathe underwater? No. Does it lay eggs? Yes. Can it fly? Yes. It's a bird. So we go down there and then click on the square plot, uh, stop button to stop it. Okay. So nice and simple. Again, this is obviously links to the year three branching databases unit but you could use this within science for looking at classification of leaves or of animals or of plants I also use it um, just to do things like sweets so biscuits or licorice all sorts or whatever um, and also there's links to maths in here as well thanks for your time I'll be doing some more tech videos uh, coming soon please like and subscribe to be notified of those and I hope to see you again soon cheers brother. Bye -bye.